Hi everyone, um, I thought you might like to see this completed sketchbook of mine. Uh, it's nothing special but I think it's it's always good to look back on what you've done and look at your, how you've improved and things. And... So this one started on the 13th of May and it finishes 14th of September but I've done other things in other sketchbooks just depending where I've been and what I've had with me. So uh, first of all I had a little drawing done by my grandson of some trees and flowers which I thought was quite cute and then this was just an attempt at a watercolour um, trees and, a, and reflections which I quite liked but I want to get, go back to trying to do that again, trying to do it a bit, a bit better on some proper watercolour paper as well because this is just a, you know, a cheap sketchbook. This one, oh, hang on, helps if it's the right way up. There you go, show you that one again. <laughs> this one was, um, I drew it when we were at Dunure and I wasn't feeling very well actually so I did a quick pencil sketch. Um, then when I was in the car on the way home, I covered it, uh, went over it with ink and then on another at another time in the car again I actually painted it in the car so it's quite wobbly but I quite like that effect actually that's why I've written in three stages <laughs> this was when we were on holiday and we went to Inverary again very quick because the kids were running about the teenagers were bored and it was just a case of I want to do something quickly so very quick uh, drawn when I was there and then painted again in the car and these were little sketches I did of garden birds for actually my father's um, order of service when he died and it was his funeral and I wanted to put a personal touch to the order of service so I did some birds because he loved birds so a blue tit, a zebra finch, oh goldfinch sorry a robin and another blue tip. These are just quick sketches down at the beach of seagulls. Very quick sketches. Again, for my dad's uh, order of service, this is Dundonald Castle. Uh, he was very involved in when Historic Scotland came along and brought it into to being a tourist um, attraction. It used to just be a ruin. We used to play then. We were there when we were kids. It's still a ruin, but you can go in and have a look at it now. So um, that was on his order of service as well. So it was really nice to be able to do that um, myself for him. This is when I went um, to the Lake District for a great weekend away with my school friend, Claire. And we went to Keswick. Actually, I was in Keswick waiting for her to arrive <laughs> and I did this sketch, uh, which I then, I sketched it on site and then later I took a photograph so that I could refer back for the colours and I painted it when I got home. So it was at the cancer research shop in Keswick. Again, I was waiting for quite a long time. <laughs> so I did a few more sketches of windows. This is from a cafe window. I did this so you've got the light bulb there as well um, Lake Road that one is and this is at the toy chest in Keswick this one I love again I painted it on I uh, drew it on site um, at Buttermere where the waterfall comes down the mountains and it's just beautiful and I drew it didn't wasn't quite brave enough and didn't quite have enough time to start painting on site so again, took a photo to use as reference for colours and I painted it once I got home. But I really love this. It's just so loose and I love the way the colours have run into each other. You get the feeling of movement with that one. So I'm really pleased with that one. Uh, again, Lake Buttermere, this one. Just a sketch. Um, I never got around to painting that, but sometimes it's nice to leave them that way. And this one was Wattenlath, which was a beautiful place. And um, we stopped there for coffee and a scone, you know, and 
my friend went off walking and I sat by the riverside and did this. I painted this one on site as well. Um, I was feeling braver this time. <laughs> I was sat down on the river, river bank and I painted it. Um, just trying to get the colours because it was this sort of peak colour in the water, the orangey colour. And, uh, you know, I, I'm quite happy with it. Again, but this was just trying to get the duck, a quick sketch of the duck. And again, what and laugh at the, that was a fantastic place. It doesn't, this doesn't do it justice at all. I don't know if you can even see it properly, but it was gorgeous. I'd love to go back. I probably will. Again, this was a, we were lucky enough to go for a short trip down to <clears throat> see friends in Brighton and Hove. And this was one morning I was sitting on my friend's roof terrace and I just decided to, it was so peaceful and beautiful and her, her terrace had all these beautiful flowers and I just decided to paint the scene. So that's that. And again, I really like that because it just reminds me of that day. Uh, this was, my husband and I went to the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum in Glasgow and I took a long time and I just took my time and did some sketching and this was a, a sculpture, a Syrinx from 1925 by William Macmillan. The boob looks a bit wrong but <laughs> if you cut that bit off it's great. I'm really pleased with the way the, because I had time you know, I took my time doing this drawing and I think it shows, you know, it's not as rough as some of the others I've done. And again, this was a, a sculpture that was there called The Threshold. Um, the young woman, obviously, <clears throat> about 1923 and by Mary Buchanan. I had to stop because my husband was hungry <laughs> and we had to go and get something to eat. But I could have stayed for hours, honestly. So we're hoping to go back there again one day. And that's it. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.